Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this update video. I hope you're all having a great Tuesday thus far. And so, of course, I'm going to be taking you through what is expected as we're going to be progressing into the next couple of days. Uh, that flooding potential is still definitely there for some areas. And so I'm going to be getting into all of that in this video. And so before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the notification bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, and so let's go ahead and get on with it and taking a look at the uh, satellite imagery here for the region. Generally, we can see that there isn't much happening, just a bit of activity moving across the Western Caribbean. But aside from that, there isn't much going on in that portion of the region. Same story for most of the Lesser Antilles. However, going further south into the vicinity of Venezuela, we can definitely see all of that convective activity. So let's take a closer look at it. There we have it. So uh, at my Atmospheric conditions are very moist right now and that is what is helping to favor so much activity within this area. As I mentioned in a previous video, uh, the activity here is being induced by the itch or intertropical convergence zone. When those trades of the north and south converge, they meet at a place that is warm and moist, which is near the equator. And then as that warm air rises, it's going to cool, condense to form clouds and eventually precipitation takes place and of course we have thunderstorm development and that is exactly what's happening right now in the vicinity of northern south america and so uh, guyana french guiana suriname these areas are also likely to experience quite a bit of rainfall between now and uh the next 24 36 hours we're going to be taking a look at what the models have to show very shortly but uh here we can see that there is quite a bit of activity and that is uh, some of that is pushing up north into uh, the vicinity city of Trinidad and Tobago and also we see a lot of cloud cover for the Wimmer Islands including Barbados but for the ABC Islands we're not seeing too much happening and uh, much isn't expected as we progress throughout the next couple of days within that area and so now let's go ahead and take a look at what the models have to show in terms of the expected rainfall so starting out with GFS here and we can see that the model is not expecting a whole lot of rainfall for the southeastern Caribbean and even Trinidad as we head into the next 24 hours but uh, we see this map getting more colorful as we head into Central America we see Colombia, Venezuela uh, and even French Guiana and Suriname over there but not seeing staggering totals for Guyana however an intense downpour in a short amount of time can trigger flash flooding especially in those low-lying areas and those areas with very poor drainage so uh, that is where that possibility of flooding will come in because of course uh, we have all this consistent activity within the region and at times it can get very intense to the point where flooding actually takes place guys so please do not take any unnecessary risks and take all necessary precautions and then going on to the euro euro is actually showing more rainfall activity for the aforementioned countries of south america so so colombia venezuela guyana french guiana suriname all these areas expected to receive quite a bit of rainfall activity as we're going to be progressing into the next 24 hours we're seeing that some activity is also expected for uh, sections of the lesser antilles but not a whole lot of rainfall and not seen much for the ABC Alice and so as we go ahead and take a look at what the GFS has to show at a wider view here including the rest of the Caribbean region we can see that the model is not expecting much for the northern Caribbean maybe just some brief showers throughout today uh, seeing some higher totals in sections of Hispaniola and Puerto Rico but as for Cuba Jamaica the Cayman Islands going over to the westerly side of the region we're not seeing too much expected guys and then as we also go ahead and take a look at the simulated IR satellite so this is from the GFS and this is what the satellite could look like as we progress into the next 36 hours and so uh, we're seeing that there are even some points where we see some of those dark colors that black even with some of that white and purple within the midst now, now those are areas of very deep convection that's where we find a lot of rainfall activity taking place so isolated flooding is definitely going to be a possibility and of course what we're seeing here is doesn't have to necessarily be the exact outcome because it is a forecast and forecasts are not always completely accurate but regardless 
And so guys, that is what is going on. And of course, I'm going to be keeping you posted as time goes by. And so that is it for right now. I hope that you found this brief video to be quite informative. However, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments. And you can also share your thoughts there. And of course, remember to always be with the wise.